when one thing in my life happens, it could trigger something five years ago, two days ago, four years ago. And then by that triggering that, that could trigger something else. And then before you know it, I have all this shit inside of me like, bitch, it's time to hurt you. And bitch, as in male, female, I don't give a fuck. Human being, it's time to fucking flip the fuck out on you. Anybody that knows me knows I used to be fucking crazy. I used to fight. I used to not care. Drama and a player. Over the years, I've slowed down. This is all I do in my life, guys. I sit in this fucking studio. I record tracks. I promote my shit. I go to school. And sometimes I go to work. That's about it. I don't even really be going clubbing like that no more. There's rare occasions that somebody would beg me to fucking go clubbing, and I might go with the individual. But I don't just, up in the fucking club, I'm usually like this. And used to, I'd be in the middle of the fucking floor. Anyways, that's... Whew, and it's gonna be a long fucking video. Know that. Because I want to know, why the fuck do people think the way they do? Why do people dislike somebody because of what somebody says? Why does somebody dislike somebody because somebody else doesn't like that person? And why does somebody not like a person just because the person they love don't like that person? Even if the other person was doing that person wrong. I've had my share of trying to hurt people and flip out and know I've been done wrong, went through bullshit, my nights are crying, anger, flipping the fuck out, almost going to jail, going to jail. And you know what's crazy? I'm gonna randomly put this fucking shit out here. Out of all the females that's came across in my life, sometimes dudes too, in the back of the day, okay? But, mm. honestly, on some real shit, the only ex that could ever have a right to flip the fuck out the way all these people I've ever fucked with or any of my exes combined should be flipping out worse than all of them is shy. I think that is one of my exes I treated the worst in my life. Who did not deserve it. Hardly any of it. Maybe a couple of screams and yells and arguments, but that's about it. And that one particular ex is the only one who has never really gave me shit. And if the person did give me shit, it was because I did something like 15 times bad and she should have went off on me more than what she did and didn't, but just went off. Which brings me to this conclusion right here. If a person loves a person so much, why is it so hard for that person to be with that person? I can name probably 15 people, 8 people, 7 people, 9 people, 5 people right now. Who is going to probably see this and hit my motherfucking phone up, I guarantee. I guarantee this motherfucker is blowed up by tomorrow. And they're going to be like, everyone is motherfuckers. If not more, I don't fucking know. But I know there's a lot of y'all that's going to hit me up and be like, was you fucking talking about me in that video? Or they're going to be like, I know you were talking about me. I know you were fucking talking about me in that video, and that's fucking wrong. That's wrong. Well, guess what? 
I'm talking about motherfucking people in general. And if you're one of the motherfucking people in general, that's not my motherfucking problem. Okay? Okay. So pissed right now. I'm gonna keep motherfucking shit 100. There are people talking to me right now who want to talk to me. And I'm not even talking to nobody on a relationship level right now. All the drama I've had in the past fucking two fucking years. I'm going to sit here and fucking do me. And do what the fuck I need to do. And if a person is in my life and stays in my life and does the same shit that I do and they back me up and they're there for me, then fucking so be it. And if something fucking happens, it happens. I'm not planning shit. I'm not intentionally out here looking for nobody. I don't expect nobody to be looking for me. But if some fucking shit happens, it fucking happens. I've had a random person show up at my door. Okay? That had issues with Major fucking issues. My fault, not my fault. I fucking forgive people. You could come to me and be like, die slow, bitch, I hate you. I hope your intestines fall out and you burn in hell. And eventually, one day, I'm going to forgive you. And when you turn around and need somebody because you're like, fuck, guess who that fucking person is going to be that's there for you? Me. Because God made me be that way. I complain about people at times, but let me tell you one fucking thing. If you come to me and ask me what the fuck I said about you, I'm going to fucking tell you to your face. I'm not sugarcoating shit. I don't give a fuck. If I hurt your feelings, I hurt your feelings. If I'm wrong, I'm going to tell you what I said and say, you know what? I was wrong for that. Either you forgive me and move on or you don't. Hold your grudge. Do you. I don't live your life. Nor will I ever. <sighs> Alright, so I forgive people in time. I've held grudges, I hold grudges, I love my enemies and people think I'm fucking playing. I could sit there and hate you all I want, but if I'm that motherfucker that's supposed to be in your life at that point in time and I'm supposed to be helping you, I'm gonna hate you while I help you. Okay? And call you out if you try to use me, do something fucking wrong, I'm gonna call you out on your shit. I don't like you because of this, 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 and this, and you're fucked up for this, but I'm still gonna fucking help you, and I swear, if you fuck me over, you're gonna get hurt, and then I'm gonna forgive you. More than fucking likely, it's what's gonna happen, alright? And if everybody in the world learned how to do that, oh my god, I guarantee there'd be less fucking stress in your life. I'm stressed right now because I'm tired of fucking people coming at me for dumb shit. Everybody is quick to say, Either I'm a bad friend, or I don't make time for people, or I don't love the person, or I don't care, or I'm fucking rude, I'm mean. You know what? I am rude, I'm mean. I'm an asshole, you're damn right, but I'll be that rude, mean asshole that has your motherfucking back at the end of the motherfucking day. Okay, a true friend is gonna be that person that pisses you off, that don't give a fuck, that go through all this shit. And if you don't believe me, ask Amanda my friends somewhere on Facebook you can find me on Facebook Trey go t-r-e-y-g-o-l-d my fucking personal page that's why Trey's reality is here go watch your fucking videos on that shit too I got videos all over that motherfucker but you want to ask a motherfucker this is how I know when you have a best friend a motherfucking best friend stay by your side and you have no you can't get rid of them you can you can try to get rid of them but they're like a fucking bungee cord they think I'm back man that, don't you get out of my life Point, I'm back Ask Amanda. Amanda Allen. That's This girl's known me since I was like fucking, what, like 10 years old? 11, some shit like that? 9, 10, 11, some shit? I've been the craziest motherfucker. I used to run from the police to her house and not tell her. And then she's like, what the fuck is going on? And she still had my back. And then cussed me out. The fuck did you do that for? Da -da 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 -da, cussed me out. I've done dumb shit, complained about people, been done wrong by so many motherfuckers and all that shit, and she's still been there for me. I've done motherfuckers wrong and she's still been there for me. I've done her wrong and she's still been there for me. I barely even talk to her. You know, guys know that? My very best friend in the whole fucking world, I love with all my heart. 
The most I talk to her is comment on fucking Facebook and like her statuses. We rarely even call each other. But I'd be damned if somebody fucked one of us over. I can call her right now and she would be in fucking Colorado as soon as she could be in my fucking bag. And vice versa. I'd be in Kentucky. And it's crazy how my best friendship has lasted through all this bullshit more than any relationship I've ever fucking had. And I'm supposed to love these individuals or they're supposed to love me with all, all their hearts and shit. And my best friend is my nigga. Like, come on. I'm pissed because... I do shit, and I have people in my life, and I don't give a fuck. If it's meant for the person to be in my life, God is going to keep that person in my life. When it's time for them not to be in my life no more, God is going to take them out of my life. I will have no control over it. So I can hate all these people I want to if I wanted to, and God is still going to have them in my life regardless. Because I have no say-so over that. Whew. I'm so mad right now. So I'm tired of people coming at me talking about, you choose this person over me, or that person, blah, 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 or you do this, or you don't do this enough, or you do blah, What the fuck have you been doing? Have you ever sat back and reevaluated yourself to see why a person would act a certain way? And if you ain't doing nothing to that person, and you're so sick and tired of their shit, why do you got that person in your life? Let the motherfucker go. Because if they're meant to be in your life, God is going to put them right back in weird places. Pinpoint like a motherfucking map. And you're going to have two people pinpoint right here. And you let them go over here. And you're going to travel. And whatever path you choose, you may go over here first. Then end up over here or here. Then end up over here. You're still going to run into whoever you're supposed to run into and have in your life. I don't know how much I can stress that. There are people that are in my life right now that I don't choose to be in my life. It's just happened. And I don't know the meaning and I don't know why. But guess what the fuck I'm going to do? I'm going to wake up every day, wash my motherfucking ass, put my clothes on, go to school, go to work if I have to, work on my music, check my motherfucking mail, run my errands, go grocery shopping, feed my fucking face, and I'm going to do the normal thing every human being does every day. Go with the flow and do what I'm supposed to. And whatever happens, fucking happens. Because no matter how you might want to plan your life, if it is not God's will, because that's what I believe in, or if it's not the will of whatever you believe in or don't believe in, if it's not the fucking will to happen, it's not going to happen. No matter how much you avoid something, it's still going to happen if it's supposed to. And no matter how much you try to make something happen, if it's not supposed to, it ain't going gonna, gonna to happen. You're just going to be let down. So you live every day fucking carefree, happy, know your responsibilities as far as you and a human being. Take care of the needs you need to take care of and the rest is going to fall in place. Whether you go through hell through it or you don't. So pissed right off. I'm tired of other people coming at me talking about, oh, blah, blah, blah. You know, I want you in my life and then bitch about everything I do or bitch about fucking certain things that I don't really have 100% control of. And just because people have been mean to me and I've been hurt and I, and I say, oh, this person's done this and this person's done that. And, and I've been through hell does not mean I'm going to do the same thing back to that person. Yeah, I'm crazy. I might try to stab somebody. I might try to fucking chase somebody with a baseball bat because I'm that bitch that's crazy. But I'm going to do it at the point in time that I let the anger take over me. But I'm not going to sit here when I'm going about my day and something happens out of fucking ordinary. No matter who the person is. Friend, lover, acquaintance, I don't know you, blah, blah, whatever. And be rude to somebody just because they were rude to me. When I talk, I seem rude. Because either I try to figure out if I don't know how to tell a person, I try to find the best pathway to tell a person. And people say I beat around the bush. No, motherfuckers. I don't know how to tell you. Because, but you know what? I'm not going to give a fuck anymore. When I start talking to people, I'm going to be like, you're a fucking idiot because of this. And that's how I feel. Not saying you're necessarily an idiot because of whatever reason. But in my mind, you're an idiot because the definition of idiot is this. And you're doing everything that that definition says. I am not perfect. But if you don't like what the fuck I say, close your ears. Walk the fuck away. Don't listen to me. Bye. I'm, I'm about to be so cold hearted because I have no control over it.
It, it's fucking obscene. And I'm outraged about it. And another friend of mine, LaQuinta, she on my Facebook too. I'm not a perfect friend to her. I've let her down. But she ain't went nowhere. She might one day, because it might be meant for her to go away and not be a part of my life. But once again, this is a friend, and I fucked up before. Nobody's fucking perfect. And she still says, you know what, Trey? When she's not on her little goofy mode. Or maybe, it doesn't matter. You know what, Trey? Sometimes you're a shitty friend, but I still got you at the end of the day, because I know your heart. Now, that's love on a friend basis that's real shit and a motherfucker can sit there and, and what I hate is when a person sits here there is a difference between two people having a conversation about another person and everything that is being said is the truth then you just having a conversation just to talk about the person and talk shit there's a difference between talking shit and telling the fucking truth now, if it's something between you and the other person that's supposed to be between you and that person, don't go fucking wearing your mouth. Don't be a rude motherfucker like that. But on the other note, if everybody knows what the fuck happens and it's already obvious and you ain't got to hide shit and nothing's a motherfucking secret. If you're fucking telling the truth, if the truth hurts, why the fuck are you doing it? And if you continue to do it, because I do it, truth hurts me a lot of fucking times. I'm... This right here example. Once I found out my liver was okay and I wasn't sick, yeah. I drink again, but not as much as I used to. People come to me, well, you said this, blah, 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 and they come at me about drinking. You know what? It fucking hurts sometimes. But guess what? I do it. So who the fuck am I to come back at you? Shit. Shit's the truth. You break? Keep it moving. So I'm like, if somebody don't like something in my life, there's a way to talk to me about it. If you don't want to be in my life because it's so much bullshit to whoever it is out there I'm talking to and looking at through this fucking screen, don't be in my life. I might come at you and be like, why are you not in my life? And I would feel that I should have to get the respect of, it, you know, this is why. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know I was fucked up like that. Let me reevaluate myself. Thank you for teaching me that. I hope you have a great life. I really do wish you the best. I'll keep you in my prayers. I still love you even if you hate me. And that goes for anybody. But when people don't fully understand a person and they let their own opinions get in the fucking way because it's human to do that. And you don't actually say, oh, this is how I feel and throw that fucking shit out. Let me take this person's feelings in here, even if they did me wrong, and understand where the fuck they're coming from. Because it takes a real woman or man to admit what they fucking did wrong and come to you fucking face to face and talk to you about it. If they do it again, they fucking do it again. It's y'all's choice of what the fuck you do after that. But if a motherfucker can do that, that takes guts. I feel every person, no matter how bad of a fucking person they may seem to be, they should get that understanding. This is why I stay to myself. That's why I don't go do shit. That's why when people contact me to go do shit and be there, I don't go do shit. I don't. Because I feel that people are going to be drama or something crazy. So it's like, well, if I run into that person purposely, then I run into that person. If I don't, I don't. I mean, I'm like, what's meant to be is what's meant to be. I'm almost done because this fucking video will not upload in certain areas. So... You can leave your comments. You can add me on Facebook. It's Trey Go. Look into my motherfucking music. Look at what I do. Look at the people I try to help. Whatever it may be, this is my life. I put the good and the bad out. My mistakes, my good. I don't care. It's real. If you got a question, I will answer your question. Matter of fact, comment below. And then add me on Facebook. Trey Go. Send me your questions. I'll answer approximately probably 20 questions in each fucking video.